Nick Hilkins, outside his house, West Ham fan TV. Um, Imrano. How you doing? Uh, did, was you expecting that tonight? Do you know what? It's, you know, with West Ham, it's like unexpected, unexpected. So it's sort of like, it doesn't surprise me, but mm-hmm. it, it was a bit of a shock in terms of like the way we've been performing. So since yeah. like, for example, the restart, we seem to be struggling. Um, you know, there's no energy in the middle of the park. Um, we're not attacking enough. We seem to be sort of, you know, um, lacklustre. Um, what I noticed today, I mean, there was a big difference in the middle of the park. Um, there was a lot of energy. There was a lot of attacking play. Um, in terms of creativity, um, it seems to be, you know, they had a sort of a game plan. They, they targeted um, their uh, fullback who's a bit shorter. So they were targeting him. And I thought, do you know what? We've got something here today. Now, what annoyed me was that VAR decision. Now, it was like, it took about, what, three, four minutes or something for them to come, you know, come to, you know, decide, you know, if that's a goal or not. I mean, to be, to be honest, yeah, if it's going to take more than a minute, then give the benefit to that to the attacking team. As simple yeah. as that, because you can't, you can't sort of like say, oh, is it, is it not, is it? Do you know what I mean? That was just taking so long. And I thought, you know what? I, in the back of my mind, I thought, you know what, we've had a couple of decisions go against us. And I thought, bollocks, this one's going to happen as well, yeah? And guess what? Bang. And I was like, what is Antonio supposed to do? I mean, he, he's on the floor. Mm. <laughs> what is he supposed to do? And they're saying he's in the way. And I was like, bollocks. Um, but that was one point. Um, but give him credit. Give Sute credit as well. I mean, both of them, 10 out of 10 today. I mean, they were running their socks off. I and mean, they were, yeah. you know, you could see the energy in both of them. And that was, that was the main difference today, I think, you know, the energy. Yeah, I, I agree, mate. I think Suchek was brilliant. I think Rice was brilliant. Um, Antonio played really well up front on his own. Um, Bowen was good until he went off. I, I, you know, he went a bit under the radar a little bit because I think the others, you know, stepped up because he's been sort of our standout player in the last, you know, few games. Because um, I was, I was calling for him to come off. Um, it worked in the end, so I wasn't wrong. But I was calling for him to come off because he, he hadn't been in the game. Then I, then I found out halfway through the uh, the substitution that he'd been involved in both goals. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, he was he was fundamental, like playing well. Um, you had like the middle of the park. I mean, that, I don't want to sort of like criticise Noble and you know have all the haters on me, but he's past it, and we we know that. And today, you can see the energy. Yeah, in the middle of the park, we we seem to be more direct. We seem to be sort of like going for it. We, you know, there's not like looking backwards and going backwards. It was actually like, like let's find a pass forward. Um, you see that with Fornells when when he picked up Antonio and he and then Antonio then flipped it onto well crossed it into um, um, Jan, Jan no, and, and uh, yeah, and then when Rudy Rudy go, was just showing him inside, I thought bloody hell, it's a goal, it's a goal, it's a goal. <laughs> you know what I mean, literally, and I thought yeah, this is it. I mean. Lanzini and Fornells again. Um, do you know what? I'm not, I'm not sure about them at the minute because they both look out of form. Do you know what I mean? And, look, yeah. and I'm thinking they may need to be dropped. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% with them at the minute. With Anderson as well, it, they're not with it at the minute. I mean, maybe what might be better for them is coming on the last 25, 30 minutes, um, you know, towards the end of the game or something. And then, to make some you know, take them there. Yeah. And... Moyes, I mean, what are they doing about these subs? I mean, he seems to be only using two every game. Has he, he forgotten that? Or does it, someone needs to remind him that there's five? Do you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know what he's doing. And, you know, there's, there's stuff like that where, you know, we need to sort of take advantage of. I mean, the previous couple of games, you know, we, we, we already, you know, we're already losing um, what they should have done. He said, well, you know what? Let's just chuck on the youngsters. Let's just see how they get on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's just put a new player. Let's see how he gets on. Let's see two up front. Let's see how they go. We're losing the game anyway. Do you know what I mean? Let's try and do something different. But he seems yeah. to sort of be very arrogant in his way of, you know, playing. And he, he wants to stick in this, you know, certain way. And that's it. Mm. And he doesn't want to sort of break the mould. But I'll, I'll guarantee you, watch, as soon as we're safe, the shackles will be off. And we'll be playing some flair with flair. And, you know, we'll be playing with some nice football and stuff like that. Um, Another mention is Wilshire. I think he did all right, actually. Do you know what I mean? He, yeah. he was involved quite a few times. Um, maybe we need him in the middle of the park, but we'll see how it goes. Absolutely. Imran, thank you so much for coming on, mate. Uh, I really appreciate it. Right, mate. Thanks for inviting me as well. Yeah? Cheers, mate. Thank, thank you. you.